Hi guys, this is Drew. And this, this is, is Benny. <laughs> she, she accidentally <laughs> grew a beard. No. Um, this is our special guest today, Kevin Sandero. Today Benny couldn't make it, so it's going to be a review with the two of us. So today we are going to review a 2012 Nigerian movie called Phone Swap. Uh, if I read the IMDb of the movie, it says, two people, an arrogant businessman and a fashion designer accidentally switch phones in an airport and reluctantly attempt to help each other. The cast is Se Ikpe Etim, Lydia Forson, Bale Ojo, and many others. And this is a 2012 movie. This is already on Netflix if you guys want to check it out. The venue for the retreat is closed to you. I need to know where the retreat is holding. You find out. One day, why are you all I go to Africa. Hey! I'd like to travel for a few days. No, 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 please. And where is that? Oh, where? My village. Will you watch where you go? Anything wrong? I'm on the wrong flight. Please, how many hours to Namdi as if you were worried? Worry? This yeah. flight is for Abuja. Disgraceful you look when you do that. Benue song. Yes, in Imoje. Akbu and vegetable soup with goat lungs and okoroku. Do you have any cutlery? <laughs> look, after this weekend, we never need to talk to each other again. Fine. Good night. You like my daughter? <laughs> Cynthia? Tofia <laughs> Kwa! Hey, hey! Aki has your phone and you have his. Yes. We are very frustrated. We are very frustrated. Ah! Nasimo, give her him. Give her him. No. Do you have a problem? Ah! 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 What is your handiwork? Business. share my phone spots. <clears throat> so I think uh, there are two strangers who are going to different places with their own agenda. The, the lady is going to her village to um, you know, meet with her family, presumably, and the guy is going to some retreat and he's expecting a exquisite, exquisite experience. And then their phones get swapped uh, at the airport. They uh, bump into each other and their phones get swapped. And because of that, I believe they're on two different flights. So the guy who wanted to go to the retreat ends up going to the village that that girl was supposed to go to. And the girl ends up going to the retreat, although it didn't really look like a retreat to me. <laughs> um, but I think they have... a. It says they are two arrogant people, so maybe they're both stubborn in their heads. And being in those different places is a very, I, I presume the movie is about how it's a humbling experience for them to go into that that guy is like, can I have this cutlery or something? I think that's what he said. And they're like, what? What are you talking about? We don't use cutlery here. So I think that's, uh, you know, they have very humbling experiences and maybe in the beginning they initially are like very resistant to it and they hate it any discomfort is initially really really um you are resistant to it but sometimes even us like you know when you travel a lot it's discomforting many a times but then eventually you kind of get the hang of things and maybe um the movie shows you the journey of them coming of age or uh, understanding a completely different perspective. Yeah, I mean, I got the same vibe from it. It, it reminded me of the movie Trading Places with Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd. Eddie Murphy was this 
this poor guy trying to live off the streets and Dan Aykroyd was this rich guy. And all of a sudden they swap places, even though it's not just about the cell phone, they had to um, conform or they have to transition to their new roles in order to better, better themselves. Mm. And uh, even though in that movie, it was more of like a, a bet, but this one just seems like it was just a legit accident with the cell phones. So now it's like they're trying to transition into these new roles to better themselves as people and eventually see how they act and treat other people. And I feel like the guy goes through some huge, um, like a, kind of like a downfall. So he has to realize that, you know, money is not going to solve everything. Everything that he has is not going to be the answer to life. So he just... He becomes, I feel like, closer to the people and then opposite with the, the girl. You know, she starts to realize, you know, maybe being too close to the people is could be a bad thing sometimes, but maybe her perspective is more in terms of her trying to core side with her being so resistant to having money or mm-hmm. having things given to her in life, maybe more appreciative. That's kind of the takeaway I got from that. Yeah, that's a good point. It's a, it's about a balance. And I think uh, some people lack in certain things and some people lack in certain other things. And this is their opportunity to really become more wholesome human beings for their own betterment. I think the, that the movie probably shows them coming out of this experience as a uh, maybe friends or maybe even lovers i don't know i you know in hindi movies there's always a love angle i would hope that that's <laughs> not the case here um well, they look like they would be good together don't you think maybe <laughs> but it doesn't always have to be love you know you I could know, just I be know. good friends or something or um, yeah. be appreciative of each other's background after having an experience like that um what i didn't understand is like okay they took that flight but why did they stay there? Mm-hmm. You know, that's, uh, that's another point. Like there might be some um, conditions in the movie that make them stay in those situations. Otherwise, why wouldn't they leave? Yeah, like some obstacles that they can't avoid. So now they're stuck in that situation. Yeah. And there were a bunch of different, various other different interesting characters. The lady with the gun, the guys <laughs> yeah. fighting. And they're like, what do you guys do for work? It's like, business. business. <laughs> so it's like, sure, yeah. What kind of business you are retaining here? <laughs> and both of them like said it at the same time, had the same style. It was pretty funny. Yeah. So as, you know, even like as me and Benny have talked about this, like every subject matter you take in Nigerian movies, there is always a flavor of comedy. Mm-hmm. They always do it with comedy. And one of our um, subscribers even said that, you know, in Nigeria, there is there are more hardships, but the only release is comedy. The, uh, that, that's, that's how you deal with life, you know? So even if it's a coming of age, and it's, I'm not saying this is a very serious movie, but it's a, there is a comedic element there, and um, and it's pretty good, you know. Just looking at the at the trailer, it's pretty uh, funny. Yeah. So I really appreciate that. It's really raunchy. It looks really edgy. So you don't know what's going to happen. So you don't know what this to expect. It just seems different from a lot of um, you know movies that are handing you the the plot like in a trailer. This one's just. You don't know what to expect when you see it. And I feel like there'll be a special surprise once you do. Yeah, this is another one of uh, Kunle of Afolayan. He's a very good director that um, you might know that we interviewed Coyote Kasum and he loves Kunle Afolayan. And uh, his subjects of movies are very, very interesting. You know, um, he, we have only reviewed a few trailers of his movies and the subject is always interesting. This is such an interesting subject that you put two different kinds of people in completely different circumstances and then what happens to them? Mm-hmm. How do they evolve out of it? Another question is, why did they stay there? How long did they stay there? And how did that help them becoming 
whatever they became. I'm hoping that they became something better than <laughs> what they were before. And how, how does this help them? There was a movie called uh, Jab We Met. Uh, it's a Hindi movie. And, uh, you know, there was this guy who was kind of suicidal. Then he met, meets this really peppy, <clears throat> insanely optimistic girl uh, who wants to elope with her lover. And he kind of falls in love with her, but he kind of helps her elope for, with her lover. But that experience, her during that time of that him helping her, he gets this zest for life. He doesn't want to commit suicide anymore. He doesn't want to, you know, he's not depressed anymore. He has a new perspective on life and he, his business starts thriving. These kind of experiences, I feel, don't just affect how you see things, but they affect your work, they affect your personal relationships, they affect how you think about yourself, they affect how you treat other people as well. And uh, it would be interesting, very interesting to see how, what kind of different dimensions does these experiences touch for these two people, these two individuals, and um, how is their overall life affected mm -hmm. in these different dimensions? Yeah, and how they act towards it. You know, it's just their personalities are now colliding with another environment. How are they gonna, you know, attain themselves to either better themselves or make them worse? So it's, just, it's yeah, kind of excited to see what's gonna happen. And also how their relationship evolves. Yeah, yeah, because they seem very resistant at the, yeah. to each other. You know, yeah. over this pure accident, and now it's, it's so I'm sure something's going to form between them. Either they're going to become more hated to each other or more lights. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So if you liked our content, please subscribe to our channel and also hit that bell icon so that you're notified every time we upload a new video. We usually do that on Mondays. And go ahead and like the video if you actually liked it. Also, leave us a comment to let us know how we are doing or if there are any other reviews that you would want us to do. Until next time, Pripilenge! Bye! <laughs> <laughs>